what's up my friends welcome to a new video here on my channel for today's video i am glad to share with you my planner and journaling setup this 2020 the first planner that i'm going to show you is my main planner this is from everyday explorers co by christine henry it is a customizable planner with a lot of spaces for text as you can see, it is an undated planner so you get to control how you want to set it up according to your needs and aesthetics. It also has a daily prompt for those who want to double this as their journal. I actually love how spacious the layout is since I love writing on my planners and journals. What I love the most in this planner is its quarterly glance feature. I love how I can plan and track my goals per quarter easily through this page. So here's a flip through of what you can see inside this Everyday Explorers Planner. As you can see, this is the calendar page and this is the ideal weekly schedule and overview page of tasks. This is the yearly goals page where you can see all your goals for the year in one page. Then like what I said earlier, that's my favorite page and this is how the monthly spreads look like. The next planner that I'm going to show you is my work planner. I recycled my Muji monthly planner last year so I don't have to buy a new one. I write everything work and project related in this planner as well as some of my content plan for my social media accounts. I also put my meetings, freelance projects, and article submissions in this planner. So here's a sneak peek of last May's planner spread. planner that I got is called Fulfilled. It was gifted to me by my best friend last year and I love how easy it is to write my daily devotions here. So as you can see, this planner slash journal has three parts. At the top of the page is a Bible verse for the day and next to it is a question which you can answer in the empty space. For the to-do list part, I change it to my gratitude list per day because there's just so many things to be thankful for and I want to steal that in my mind. For the notes page, I just write whatever emotions I'm feeling for the day. Last but definitely not the least in my planner slash journaling 2020 setup is this Hobonichi daily journal. Like my main planner, it also has a monthly spread where I can track the media that I consume per day. Inside, it has blank read pages where I stick my ephemeras and souvenirs. Sometimes, I just write and draw random things inside when I really did not too much for the day. This is my favorite journal so far and no regrets in getting this despite its price costing me an arm since I got this straight from Japan. also has some pouches where I store my washi tape samples so I can journal on the go. For those who are wondering where I got my journals and planners, don't worry because I'm gonna link them in the description box below. That's it for my planner and journaling setup for 2020. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. See you on my next one!